Good morning, Boo. You're going to the vet. Are you excited? Boo's kind of. Boo, you excited to go to the vet? Boo. I don't think she's very excited for that. Ready for the vet? That tail go. Oh my gosh, you are ready for the vet. We are waiting in the vet room now for the vet to come in and check on Boo. Boo, how you doing? All your tricks off? Sit. Ready? Sit. Shake. Good girl. Touch. Touch. Oh, no, no. High five. There we go. I'll do that. So people have asked uh, when we travel, what's going to happen to Boo? And what we're going to do is we're going to leave Boo with Steph's parents. So don't worry. Uh, it'll be a tough three months though because we're gonna miss this little one. Today's first part of the vlog is dedicated to the story of Boo because I want to share Boo's origin story. Here it comes. This is Boo. You know her from her videos, hanging out, just on the couch, usually kind of judging me. When we first met Boo, she was small, hairless, stinky, wrapped in a blanket. Nobody wanted her. So we wanted her. Actually, first we wanted her brother, Hugo. Hugo was a sweet guy, but he had a family to go to, so when we found out he had a sister, we were like, of course. And it was the best choice of our lives. Who had some struggles growing up. She was hairless, she was a little bit moody, but what do you expect? She was abandoned, left on the side of the road in the rain. But you know what? Through it all, she was always positive, Love meeting puppies, tail wagging, and going on adventures. She really, really, really loves puppies. And yeah, that tail is always wagging. So here's to you, Boo. Thanks for being awesome. Thanks for bringing this family together. Seriously, without you, how would I get all these Instagram and Snapchat likes? This is a video shoot we did a while ago, and the whole time I tried to make her pose, she was sitting here looking at me like I'm crazy. But the whole shoot kind of turned into a lot of fun. It was just hugs, kisses, more kisses, hugs. Yeah, she's the best. Oh, is this shoot animal cruelty? Uh, this voiceover lost track somewhere. Um, well, thanks, Ru. Thanks for being the best. Well, that was a nice story. It's good to think about Boo. She makes me very happy. She makes us very happy, Steph and I. I'm about to head over to Starbucks um, to meet a former student of mine and see how he's doing. Anthony, he used to, I didn't teach you, I never taught you directly. Did Jonathan teach you? Uh, Jessica taught you. Je Jessica, yeah, she's That's actually a, a doctor now. Yeah, she's a real she's doctor a... now. And I just make these videos. So, any like real millennial tips from me? Millennial tips. Like how to make how to make this YouTube channel more popular? Do you have tips for me? Watch out for your younger audience. Okay, younger how, how, how do I do that? You should go to a lot of uh, younger audience events. <laughs> she go to like warp tours. <laughs> warp tour. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Warp tours been around since I was like a little kid. How does a younger audience event? Well, audience have changed, haven't they? No, it's, no, you're actually right. Okay, he's right. See, that's why he's the millennial. Just a note. This is to do these videos. Taking me three days. Three days. 
Ugh. About to meet some friends. Go to uh, Full Key. Get some Chinese food. Now, the best part of this area is that DC has really crappy uh, diverse food, but Silver Spring and Wheaton, wow, wonderful. Here we go. Here's the but just like, if you're going to consider, just look at the, the nice kind of cut. Delicious. Ooh, bakery. So we finished food, we ate Chinese food, and we're literally going next door to this bakery. Thursday. I ordered macadamia nut and I got oatmeal. Night is ruined. Adventures of Boo and Toby. Toby goes and runs, and Boo follows her, sniffing the grass and the butts and more of the butts. Everywhere they go, running, 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 butt sniffing. 